Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us. Hello everyone and good morning all of you. This is Ashima and in this video we'll be talking about everyday news events or current affairs. All the important points that are associated with the news events are going to be conferred to in this video. And this video is going to be helpful for all the exam aspirants. So whichever exam you're preparing for, this video is going to be helpful. A short insight into the day for you. So let's begin the discussion. Uh, but before that, uh, all those who have not yet downloaded Entry App, you can download it from the link which is provided below, where you can get all the free mock tests, test series, and sectional tests. Now we'll be beginning with the news event. The first is World's 50 Greatest Leaders list of 2021. Now this was a list which was released by Fortune, and according to this list, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, that is Jacinda Ardern, has topped in the list. Now that indicates that she has uh, currently been the most successful one, indicating her work towards COVID-19 as well. So handling of COVID-19, the situation that these countries have handled, that indicates it. From India, the top rank holder is Adar Punawala, who is the CEO of Serum Institute of India, which is currently involved in the vaccine production of Covishield. Right? And um, furthermore, what was his rank in the worldwide? On worldwide, his name, his rank was at 10th, but from India, he is the top rank holder. Apart from that, who was the second rank holder and third rank holder? So first was Chesinda Arden, but second rank holder was mRNA Pioneers. Pioneers. And the third rank holder was Dan Shulman. Dan Shulman, who is uh, the CEO of PayPal. CEO of PayPal, Dan Shulman, was the uh, third rank. Right. Going ahead, a few one-liners. Airline company GoAir has rebranded itself as a Go First. Now, this has happened after 15 years of its functioning. And uh, the new motto has also been released. So, what is the new motto of GoAir? That is, you come first. You come first is the new motto of it then who is the owner which company is the owner of go air or you can say the which is now called as go first the parent company is vadia group vadia group is the current owner of it and all right then next of all we have punjab chief minister amrinder singh he has declared melar kotla as the 23rd district of the state on the occasion of Fitr, it was announced. From which district have has he bifurcated it? It has from come from Sangrur district. So there was Sangrur, there is Sangrur district of Punjab, which has been bifurcated to two now. One is Melarkota, which is a Muslim dominated district, and the second one is Sangrur. Third, the book Sikkim, A History of Intrigue and Alliance, which was published by Harper uh, Harper Collins India recently. So, talking about this book, uh, it was on Sikkim Day. On Sikkim Day, it was launched. And second of all, uh, it was the 22nd state of India on which this book has been released. Now, it was merged with India in 1975. In the year 1975, Sikkim was merged with India. So clearing all the history of Sikkim with India, how its merger had happened and everything about that, its relations with its, uh, with its current point and the proximity to Tibet, all of those have been discussed in this book. In this book. Then Airtel Payments Bank has unveiled DigiGold for digital gold investment. Now, how is this uh, helpful is that via this platform, the customers will be able to purchase gold and that is going to be 24 karat gold that they can purchase using Airtel Thanks app. For this DigiGold, uh, on, for launching DigiGold, there has been a partnership with Safe Gold by Airtel. Safe Gold is the one with whom Airtel has partnered for releasing this. There is no minimum investment value. They can start, the investment can be started at rupee 1 investment as well in gold. Then we have Indian origin Shakuntala Harak Singh Thilsed, who has been named as 2021 World Food Prize winner. She is from Trinidad. She has origin of India, but her citizenship remains of Denmark. 
A. P. Sharma Oli has been reappointed as the Prime Minister of Nepal recently, although he had lost his confidence motion, yet again he has been appointed. ASCI Secretary General Manisha Kapoor has been appointed as Vice President for the International Council for Advertising and Self Regulation. So Manisha Kapoor has recently taken over this position. And uh, furthermore, <coughs> he's going to remain till the year 2023. So till 2023, she's going to remain as the Vice President. This uh, committee has four members, four vice presidents, out of which one is Manisha Kapoor. Then sixth global U UN Global Traffic Safety Week was organized. That was from 17th to 23rd of May. Now this day is observed, this is a biennial event, right? So this is for two times a year that this day is observed. And according uh, on this tra Global Traffic Safety Week, it was a call that 30 km per hour or 20 meter per hour should be the speed limit in cities, towns and villages all over the world. Who hosts this day? This day is hosted by World Health Organization or WHO. And the theme for this year was Streets for Life. Streets for Life was the theme this year whereas when we look at the tagline that was hashtag love 30 this was the hashtag that was running alongside then we have international year of families which was observed on 15th of may with the theme families and new technologies this was the theme for families day and was observed recently with the particular theme now, who organizes this day? It was announced by United Nations General Assembly in the year 1993. And then the year 1993 it was announced. Uh, Spain's Rafael Nadal and Poland's Iga Swiatek have won singles title at Italian Open Tennis, which was held in Rome recently. Nagaland's uh, uh, environmentalist uh, Longleng from Longleng District, Nupu Foam has won Whitley Award 2021. Whitley Award is also known as Green Oscar and she is the recipient of it recently. Who gave this award? This is given by UK based uh, fund in World uh, Whitley Fund for Nature. This is the one which gives out the award. Then we have China, which has successfully achieved the feature of landing its first Mars rover with the name Zhu Rong on the Red Planet. And with this happening, it has become the only second country in the world to have achieved this target. The first country to do this was United States of America, and that's the only country that has achieved this target till that, except now that we have the second uh, country that is China. Right? Then we have National Gallery of Modern Art, which is going to organize online summer workshop with the name Naimisha 2021. This is going to be organized from 17th of May to 13th of June. Then Pablo Picasso's Women Sitting Near a Window. This painting was sold recently at Christie's in New York at 103 million US dollars. World Hypertension Day is observed on 17th of May and this year the theme was measure your blood pressure accurately, control it, live longer. Now, so here you can see that World Hypertension Day is associated with regulating blood pressure and this day was held for the first time in the year 2005 in the month of May. So first time it was organized in the year 2005. And who has started organizing it? World Hypertension League WHL is the organization which organizes this day. With this, we'll be winding up the day. Thank you so much. It has been wonderful interacting with all of you. We'll see you with more news events. Until then, have a great day ahead.